University of Massachusetts Amherst researchers are using x-ray scans and computational models to learn the secrets of mantis shrimp, crustaceans who fire their appendages with amazing speed and force to ward off enemies and capture prey. Graduate student Michael Rosario created these animations. On the left is high-speed video of an experiment in which a materials testing machine compresses a mantis shrimp appendage to mimic the way the crustacean would prepare to strike. On the right is a finite element computer model of the appendage under similar loading conditions. Blue, or cold regions, represent areas with low calculated strain energy density. Red, or hot regions, have high calculated strain energy density. The comparisons show the model's predicted behavior resembles the appendage's physical behavior. A finite element model begins with three-dimensional CT scans of an appendage, this from a mantis shrimp species that smashes predators and prey. An x-ray reveals a folded claw. Brighter regions are more dense, such as the bulbous hammer and vertical bars on the back. These dense bars may be regions where elastic energy that is, potential energy in a crumpled or stretched or otherwise deformed bendable object is stored in the appendage as it's loaded to strike. This last view compares the CT scan with strain energy localization of the prey smashing shrimp from the previous animations, G. smithii, and another mantis shrimp species, L. maculata, which typically spears rather than punches its prey. The percentages indicate the energy plotted in each model at any time. This allows researchers to compare the smallest volumes that can store a given percentage of total energy in each appendage. In L. maculata, most of the energy is spread out across the entire spearing appendage. In G. smithii, more of the elastic energy can be focused into small regions for delivery in a rapid smashing motion. <laughs>